So, let's see here. Eee. There I am. Hey everybody, I want to say Happy New Year and uh, many blessings to all of you, no matter where you are today. Um, I hope you're starting the new year out uh, with much love and much positivity. Um, what has been helping me on my journey uh, to help with the positivity is obviously watching what I eat. Um, I am vegan, um, mainly uh, plant-based, um, mainly raw, but you know, I eat all different types of things right now and uh, it's wonderful. I've lost uh, in the likes of, oh man, it's been I think 40 pounds, you know, in the past six months. Um, I feel better than I ever have. Um, but on top of the food thing, uh, I just want to say that uh, I'm really watching what I'm allowing in my, my mind because what you are watching is basically food for your brain. Um, so what you're taking in, you are what you eat. Um, and so if you're just constantly bombarded with negativity and you're taking on negativity, you're watching negativity, uh, you're getting wrapped up in the news or you're getting wrapped up with all this stuff on uh, Facebook or wherever your social media is, um, I just want to say that you are becoming that without even realizing it. And... Uh, you know, I just want to really want to encourage you because what's helped me on my path is really just being selective of what I'm taking in, you know, so I haven't been on Facebook as much. Um, so that's why I haven't responded probably to a lot of you um, and whatnot. I just been, you know, really trying to enjoy nature and um, really just trying to enjoy life and, you know, really up this positivity for the new year and the new day. Um, so. Be careful what you're taking in because you, you totally become that, you engulf that, and you don't even realize it, you know. Um, I was so engulfed in all this negative stuff, you know, for so long, it really just became a part of my everyday. It became a part of who I was, and I just became this really angry, negative person. So now I wake up in the morning, and this is crazy, right? Like, I wake up, and sorry, I'm walking on this crazy path. Uh, if you guys want to know what my favorite crime is, it is trespassing. And I'm not encouraging you to break the law, but not all, you know, this this is public land here. It did say no trespassing, but uh, it's a pretty fantastic field. And I used to walk through it when I was a kid and catch gardener steaks. So who knows where this path is going to take me. Um, all paths lead to somewhere, right? Um, what has helped me on my journey though with uh, becoming this whole new person is understanding that you know I am what I eat so I am what I see my brain is what I see um, and I, I don't want to be negative anymore I don't I don't want to be depressed I don't want to be sad I don't want to be any of this stuff and sure these things are gonna happen you know um, I had kind of a rough morning but I was very I was able to grasp those negative things and change them into something positive and keep myself present and keep myself moving forward in the day. So instead of letting, you know, the negative situations of my morning consume me, which they do to a lot of people, um, I was able to just say stop, you know, and then put myself wherever I was, which I was at work earlier, and I had a great day, you know. Um, I was able to transform that stuff and the way I've been doing this lately I've been noticing because I'm, I'm super you know self-aware these days I wake up with a lot of mind chatter it's like blah 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 you know like that person did you wrong like two years ago and you know like you should like I don't know I, I just random stuff random songs and then random thoughts and I uh <laughs> So, yeah, like random thoughts, you know, like, blah. I'm not very good at these videos yet. I'm going to start doing my YouTube channel here shortly, uh, you know, just with like my daily 
you know, advice that has helped me with my journey, just like this is, but, uh, you know, a little more, probably a little less goofy. I, yeah, it's going to be way more goofy, actually, so I'm not going to make any promises, but I'll try not to get sidetracked as much. Anyways, what's helped me on my journey with being positive and being happy and healthy is waking up, and when this chatter starts to go, because our monkey mind is, you know, just out of control, you know, like, it, it's always chattering. This is why I meditate, you know, uh, I'm able to observe that and realize when that's happening. And so now when I wake up and it's like, blah, 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 negative, negative, positive, random, weird, I'm, I go stop. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm so thankful for this bed that I'm laying in. I'm so thankful for the food I have. I'm so thankful for the clothes I wear. I'm so thankful for the friends I have and the love I have in my life and my heart the health I have, um, the fact that I'm able to trespass and find these random fields and, you know, venture down them and, you know, there's a little hobo camp over there. I think I might bring in like my, uh, my employee meal from earlier, um, see if they're hungry. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I think I'll wonder that way. I have food in my bag, so they might need it. Uh, anyways, <laughs> back to my, back to my thing. I wake up and I'm able to acknowledge that my mind is going off on this tangent, which ultimately would ruin my mornings, you know, and I think it does with a lot of people. Um, I would, I grasp it now. I'm like, stop. And when I say stop, I stop. It, it, it force stops my brain, you know, to where I'm able to just grasp that. And then I start being thankful for all the things that I have. And by the time I'm in the bathroom, by the time I'm in the shower, I'm laughing. I'm, I'm actually in such a good mood that, you know, I'm, I'm starting that day off, each day off new. I'm starting with, without any baggage from yesterday or two years ago or two months ago or whatever is going on. I am not taking that with me into my day. And I'm able to, I, I, I feel like I've transformed so much. Um, many of you know that uh, I lost, you know, my bike was stolen uh, a couple weeks ago, right before Christmas, and I didn't even get mad about that. Oh, look at this bird. I think it's an eagle, maybe? A hawk? Can you see it? I don't want to get, oh, look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna walk towards that thing. I don't know, it could be an owl, but it's cool. It's sitting like up on a tree. You never wanna like, you know, be distracted from the beauty of nature. We come from nature. We should be in nature as much as possible. Like I'm in this random field by Colfax that is fenced off and says violators will be prosecuted and this and that. Like I said, I'm not condoning trespassing, but I'm pretty sure this is public land. I don't think I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but it's beautiful over here. Um, so, you know, just a little uh, a tip from me to you, you know, all my, my friends, you know, to help you start your new year off. You know, when, when you realize you're going down this trail of thoughts, you have the power to change that. You have the power to be like, I'm not gonna like let my mind or any of these situations determine my happiness or my well-being. I'm just not going to do it. You have that choice. You have that power every day. With every moment, you have the power. You should never let external circumstances dictate your happiness inside. Never, ever, 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 ever. You know, true happiness comes from within. Everything you need to be happy and well is within inside of you. Um, this energy that connects us, uh, you know, the spirit of God or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's within all of us and in no, um, you know, we are perfect the way we are, you know, uh, you are perfect the way you are, you know, you might be going through some things where you feel inadequate or whatever, because society has told you that, you know, that you need this or you need that, but you don't need anything. You're perfect the way you are and you are in control of your happiness. Don't let other people, don't, don't even let your monkey mind be in control of it, you know. Be like, stop. S-T-O-P. 
and then change. Start being thankful because no matter where you are, you could have it a lot harder. You can have it a lot harder. Trust me. I'm I'm out here, you know, around homeless people all the time, uh, people that are less fortunate, especially how cold it's been lately. I always think that. I'm like, man, I have this coat. You, you know, I got I got shoes. I got you know, I got my I got whatever. You know, I got glasses. Like, how hard would life be without glasses right now? <sighs> Whew. I love being in the middle of this field and it's prairie dogs i don't know where they're at i don't see them but pretty vacant right now there's a little hobo camp but i don't see anybody in it so i'm not going to disturb it um there's more people i can give my food to down the street here but uh i just want all of you to know that uh you're loved you know I, I posted i love you earlier in case i don't tell you because it's true i don't say it enough and I'm starting to try to say it to, you know, all my friends. Um, and just because we don't talk anymore, we don't talk enough, or I don't comment on your stuff or whatever, don't, don't think for a second that when I don't think of you, whoever you are, when you pass through my mind, that there's massive love for you. Uh, hopefully these help you, you know. Just remember, change your thoughts, change your life. You know, start making positive self-talk and start your day off on a different note you know as well as be careful of the things you're putting in your body you know um, very strong advocate for you know a plant-based diet uh, we are herbivores um, all our disease like all our disease comes from our eating you know all the things that we're putting in our body you know it's not coincidence that one in three people are born in the cancer and all these people have diabetes and um, you know, I have friends, you know, in the hospital right now going through stuff and it's been kind of hard, you know, just even knowing that, you know, so I've been really focusing on changing my own path and my own walk. And I'm not telling any of you how to live, but I'm telling you what has worked for me. And, uh, you know, definitely switching to a plant-based diet has helped and definitely being aware of what I'm putting in myself, you know, like negative TV. God, I'm sun gazing. Look at that sun. It's vitamin D right there. Oh my God! I hope I hope it's I hope you're looking at it, everybody. Can you see it? Oh, look at it. Soak it in, even through here. It's so important. So important. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to make a video and walk through this field and tell all of you that I love you and that you're important. You're awesome. You're wonderful the way you are and get out into nature be careful what you're putting into yourself whether it be food whether it be drugs alcohol um, legal illegal uh, or whether it be what you're watching or whatever even you're listening to you know uh, my christian friends you know be careful of that christian music a lot of it has a lot of pride and ego into it and that wasn't jesus um, you know, I did a lot of research. I've been a lot of studying. I'm like, where is this ego and pride coming from with my Christian friends? And a lot of it is this boastful Christian music. That wasn't Christ. That wasn't Jesus. And so be careful that you're listening to that. Because all the Christian, just because it's Christian music doesn't make it what Christ taught. Very important to realize that. Even other music, you know, like if you're sitting there listening to stuff that's going to make you have a bad day or be rude or mean to others or judge others in any sense of the form you know try a little test try it out same thing you know like like try being on facebook last or whatever try watching the news less um try eating a little healthier uh just just try it don't take my word for it do your own research uh i'm an advocate for uh you know the information age that we live in um I guess I've been rambling for a while. I don't know, you know. I'm like partially distracted by this beautiful field here and the sun going down, just trying to get lost. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm happy, I'm healthy. I don't know, starting the new year off and the, the day off on a different foot. And um, nothing's gonna change that, you know. 
life is gonna have some pain in it you know pain is inevitable but suffering is optional you know so be healthy my friends be safe be loved be kind be alive much love